Hello, we're going to do a series on weaving a Makai tartan, but it's going to be tea towels because we're practicing and before we do the uh, wool kilt. That's expensive to get the material, whereas cotton's a lot cheaper. But anyway, first we need to figure out how much material to get. And so this video is the warp and the weft calculations. So what I'm using for the calculations I got from the woolery.com. So what you're looking at right now is the URL for where I got the um, calculation worksheet from, the woolery.com. And they got it from another company that makes spindles. But anyways, this is a fairly accurate calculator worksheet for from our my experience um, if you put the stuff in right which sometimes I don't but okay so start off with this uh, warp and weft calculation worksheet the finish the total length of the finished size that's the size that you want it to be when you uh, finish We'll say it's 300 inches. I'm not going to have any fringe or hems. The shrinkage is about 10%, so that's 30 inches. The take up is about 10%, so another 30 inches. And then you, uh, if you have samples, you, uh, we we're not going to have any samples. The loom waist on our loom is about 36 inches. So when you add all that up, it's going to be 396 inches. Divide that by 36 inches per yard, and you have 11 yards. That's how long each um, thread for the warp is going to be. Now for the width of the finished piece is going to be 15.4 inches. Um, the, it's about 10% drawing, about 10% shrinkage. Add all that up and we'll get up to 19.2 inches. That's the total width of the warp that on the loom as after we take it off, after we wash it and all that, then it will be about 15.4 inches. The ends per inch is 24 and so multiply 24 times 19.2 and we have 462 threads of 11 yards each that we're going to uh, use for our uh, material, our fabric. And so to the total number of yards is this part. So 462 ends from here, 11 yards from here. Multiply those two together and we have 5,082 yards just for the warp. That's 11 yards of warp at 19.2 inches wide on the loom. And so for the weft, we're going to, we take the 19.2 inches wide and we add in about 10% of uh, more just to just uh, weaving in and out of thread the warp threads that will total up to 21.1 .1 inches for each weft shot and then 24 times per inch ends per inch and you get up to 506.4 inches and but that's still not useful to us we need yards so 
we look we take 396 inches for the uh, total length of the uh, the material on the loom and that's 200,534.4 inches that we need total for just for the weft and to get that into yards divide by 36 inches per yard and we have 5,570 yards of weft so now we have our weft amount we have our warp amount just add the two together the 5,570 yards of weft 5,082 yards of warp and our total is 10,652 yards that's how much material we need for um, our fabric going 11 yards of fabric at 19.2 inches wide on the loom and our material that we're going to use is a Maurice Broussard 8-2 cotton and it's 1680 yards per tube so if it was just one color we just uh, divide 10,652 yards by 1,680 yards per tube and we get our result at something like six point something tubes of, uh, of yarn and then we'd be done but our pattern the Mackay pattern has three colors in it and so now we have some more calculations to decide how much of each tube. The easy way to do it, they're about the same, almost the same number of uh, uh, threads for each color. And there's three colors, divide by three, and you have an approximation if you're really bad at math and you want an easy way out that's the easy way out you know, just guess at the proportion and hope you're right by extra but this isn't so good for wool if you ever do wool because wool is so expensive nowadays so what I did on this sheet right here this is the pattern it's a half count pattern um, at Tartan Registry it's actually 8, 46, 4, 46, and so on. But I cut it in half because I wanted uh, more uh, of the pattern to show in the tea towels. It's a smaller piece of fabric than a kilt. So I told up the number of threads. There's 58 green threads and 154 total threads in each pattern so that's 38 percent of the pattern is in green 58 divided by 154 same thing with blue 46 threads divided by 154 that's 30 percent and 50 threads of black divided by 154 total threads in the pattern that's 32 percent And so, if we go back to over here, that, that's where I got the percentages from down here. There's 10,652 total yards of material we need for the fabric. 38% of that's green. So 10,652 times 0.38 is 4,048 yards and then divide that by 1,680 yards per each tube of green and that's almost two and a half tubes so we need to buy three tubes of green blue similar process it's 30 percent blue so 0.3 times 
10,652. That comes out to 3,196 yards. Divide that by 1,680 yards per tube and you get 1.9 tubes. Basically two tubes, but I got three just in case it's off a little bit because I didn't want the colors to not match if I had to buy extra and wait a month and so on. Black, 32% of the fabric's black. So that's 0 0.32 times 10,652 total yards equals 3,408 yards of black. Divide 3,408 yards of black, divide by 1,680 yards per cube, and that's almost exactly two tubes. Once again, I would suggest getting three, which is what I got. Basically, three tubes of each color. And that's about it. Do you have anything to add? So this is the, uh, the way that we go about calculating how much material we need to weave a piece of fabric. And uh, fortunately the cotton is about, it was about $11 a tube earlier this year I think. Now, if you had wool, that would be a lot more expensive. That would be three or four hundred dollars for a kilt. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope this is helpful in knowing how people estimate how much material they need. Thank you. Bye.